Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna see server roles in Exchange Server 2013. So Exchange 2013 has three server roles that can be installed. Client access server role, mailbox server role and edge transfer server role. The hub transport server which was there in the previous version of Exchange Server which is now divided between client access server and mailbox server role. So the function of hub transport server is now performed by the client access server and the mailbox server. So Action 2013 have these three roles. Here in this, the mailbox and the client access server role can be installed on a same single server or this server can be installed separately on a two different servers. First, we are going to see detail about client access server. The client access server, as the name suggests, the client access server is the server that connect users to their mailboxes through client like Outlook, Outlook web app, accessing Outlook through browser or accessing Outlook emails on mobile phone. So this server is the connection point for all your users to their mailboxes both internally and externally. The client access server authenticate and redirect those requests to appropriate mailbox server. This role basically works on HTTP and HTTPS traffic for client connectivity and web services. It handles email routing between Exchange server and outside the world. The front end transport service running on client access server perform various email traffic filtering as well as the email routing between the exchange server and outside the world. In addition to all these services, the client access server provides other important services such as availability service, which shows the free busy data of a user. The free busy data shows the availability of a user whether it is free or busy. For example, if you are scheduling a meeting, you will open a new email and you will type the email address of the user or the email address of the meeting room. So before sending the email, you will check the availability of that user or the meeting room that is provided by the client access server. Next is auto discover service. Auto discover is very important service which help you for the outlook profile configuration on your desktop or on your mobile phone. You just need to enter your username and password while configuring Outlook profile and in background this service run to get your mailbox configuration and after a few seconds your Outlook profile will get configured automatically. Now we are going to see detail about mailbox server role. Mailbox server hosts the database that contain mailbox and public folder data. As with Exchange 2010, the Exchange 2013 mailbox server role can be made highly available by configuring a database availability group. So the database availability group is a group of 16 mailbox server which hosts the set of databases and provide automatic database level recovery from failure that affect the individual server or databases. So this is the server where all emails are stored. It provides message record management and retention policy which decides the life cycle of an email. It handles email address policy, it generates address list, it generates offline address book, hosts public folder databases. So the address book or the address list gives you the list of all recipient which is available on mailbox server. Now we are going to see detail about edge transport server role. The edge transport server are optional for your organization and are designed to sit in the DMZ network to provide SMTP connectivity and mail flow in and out of your organization. Edge transport server handle all inbound and outbound internet mail flow by providing mail relay and smart host services for your exchange organization. The agents running on Edge transport server provide additional layer of message protection and security. These agents provide protection against spam and apply transport rule to control mail flow. You can install more than one edge transport server in the perimeter network. This server handles anti-spam and antivirus protection and holds the following feature which is content filtering, IP allow list, block list, recipient filtering, sender filtering, sender reputation and sender ID. Now we will see how the hub transport server works in Exchange 2013. As we have stated earlier, the hub transport role works with client access server and the mailbox server in Exchange 2013. So the transport pipeline in Action 2013 consists of following services. The front-end transport service, hub transport service and mailbox transport service. So the front-end transport service 
This service runs on all client access server for inbound and outbound external SMTP traffic for Exchange 2013. Next is Hub Transport Service. The Hub Transport Service routes the messages between Mailbox Transport Service, the Hub Transport Service, and the Frontend Transport Service. This service is virtually identical to the Hub Transport Server. Next is Mailbox Transport Service. This service runs on all Mailbox server and consists of two separate services the Mailbox Transport Submission Service and the Mailbox Transport Delivery Service. The Mailbox Transport Delivery Service receives SMTP messages from Hub Transport Service and connect to the Mailbox database using an Exchange Remote Procedure call to deliver the messages. The Mailbox Transport Submission Service connect to the Mailbox database using RPC to retrieve messages and submit the messages over SMTP to Hub Transport Service. The Mailbox Transport Service doesn't queue any message locally. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section. And finally, thanks for watching.